It is after Labor Day, and John, that means it's time to do the fall cleaning. And yep. my man, John from Happy Junk Removal, yep. is here to make sure that we're doing it right. And, and what's very important here uh, with it being National uh, Junk Day is that you don't want to get ticket, you don't want to get fined. That's right. Uh, because if you don't have ball pickup going on and you put stuff out in the alley, you're going to be billed, am I right? That's correct, yeah. Um, happens uh, pretty frequently here in the valley. People will take stuff out, they'll dump it in the alleys, and uh, it accumulates more junk when people see that it's been dumped there. People will put more junk on top of it. Uh, bulk pickup comes by. If they haven't picked up your junk, call us. We'll be, we'll be glad to haul it away for you. Yeah, and you, you came up with a great little thing about uh, the junk uh, putting on top of it. What would what'd you say? You told oh, me? this uh, junk attracts junk. <laughs> so do, do this experiment at home. Get your, your, your clean kitchen countertop. Put a couple items on there and just watch it accumulate. The kids will put more stuff, wife puts more stuff, next thing you know you got a pile of junk. And that's so where junk attracts junk. <laughs> and that's where happy junk removal guys come in. And John, we got the truck right here, yes, sir. which is really cool, ready to be filled up. What's going on? And you guys come out there and, and literally you can either work with the people and, and remove the junk or Someone going to say, here, take it all, and you guys start doing it. Yeah, that's right. So we'll, we'll take away the junk. We have what's called junk ability. Uh, we'll repurpose whenever possible. Uh, some of our favorite charities are Goodwill, Salvation Army. We do a lot of scrap metal recycling. So anything to avoid the landfill. So, so right there you say, to avoid the landfill. And that's what you guys are really all about yeah. is sustainability. Because you will see stuff that, wait, no, this doesn't go to the landfill, which I might just want to take the landfill and get rid of. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, so the landfill is a, a, a popular place for the junk trucks. Um, to do it yourself, it's probably not the best idea. It's a lot of nails. The trucks get kind of dirty. As you can see, this one gets pretty good use. So uh, it's best to call us let us handle that for you if you like. Okay. Uh, last time uh, we were together, you were at my place. I was doing yard work, getting that cleaned up. It's that time of year. People probably, we've had the monsoon. We've had people doing landscaping, rebuilding, doing stuff like that. That's where you guys can also do too, yeah, right? Yeah, we, we'd also do yard cleaners for you. Anything that's loose in the, the, uh, the yard, any debris, we can haul away. We actually pulled out a tree stump the other day. We backed the truck up to the tree stump and yanked it up with a hook. Ooh. So that was kind of fun. <laughs> that's good. Well, I need to come back and look at those tree stumps. I'm trying to <laughs> thought I could cut them down and stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, okay, uh, if someone is looking for you, um, how do they get a hold of you? Right oh, away. just call us anytime. We pick up the phone all the time. Here it is, 480-557-JUNK. Uh, John with Happy Junk Removal. A lot of times we can do same day service. You call us early enough. Uh, we'll be glad to take care of you. Okay. What don't you take care of? I want to get that out so we have time here. What okay, don't you so take care of? That's important, people. Listen hazardous up. Hazardous waste like um, solvents, oils, petroleums, uh, uh, large amounts of paints. Uh, we can't take the landfill. It doesn't let us put them there. They have to be propped process correctly, the paint has to be dried, and then uh, it can be disposed of correctly. So, okay, let's have some fun, because we got a couple minutes here. What is the weirdest thing that you guys have found oh. in junk removal? So yeah, we see all kinds of stuff. Uh, most recently, um, we're gonna take away a piano, and the guys put an alligator head inside the piano. So when I opened up the piano case, the alligator head was in there, scared me. So wait, wait. It's not about the piano, it's about the alligator yeah. head. Who has an alligator head? Uh, you know, head? that's a good question. We, we see uh, you know, stuffed animals, oh stuff like real animals. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. True story, or clean out the back of a shed, we found an urn, okay? Okay. People didn't like Uncle Bob for some reason, so they put him in the back. So we had to, you know, correct, you know, contact the proper get, people to be, you know, rid of respectful of Uncle, Uncle Bob. Bob. Yeah, so that's amazing. Okay, and then one more. I know we're finishing up. What's the most expensive thing that you've ever found? I, I hate to put you on the spot, but that's kind of because you guys go in there and people pretty much go just clean out mom and dad's place. I don't want to be around it and anything like that. Yeah, probably. Uh, there, there was a, a boat one time that. Uh, the, the boat was in really good shape. It was a 1970s Tahiti uh, speedboat. Wow. They just gave me the title and said, take it. So I took it, you know, <laughs> and, and fixed I it didn't up want it, but I sold it. So <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah, so we get a lot of, lot of <laughs> so. the, the, the full spectrum of junk, we see it. That's awesome. All right, it is, again, National uh, Junk Day. Uh, and, of course, uh, Happy Junk is ready to help you. Happy Junk Removal is ready to help you do it. Tell them how they can get a hold of you, John. 480 junk there you Happy go. Junk there it is. Get her done and don't leave it out in the backyard or in the alley, people. All right.